Hello guys, welcome to White Dot Academy. White Dot Academy aims to providing best quality tutorials. In this tutorial, I will teach you how to get emboss up and down option. Uh, in the, with the help of this tutorial, you can easily emboss any type of text, any type of logo, or any type of object. If you like my video, so please must click on the like button also post your grades comments and also send me your feedback if you still not subscribe my channel so please click on subscribe button which is located under the video if you click on subscribe button you will get updated my latest video and you can also get a different tutorials you can also check my latest video at my channel you can also search in youtube search bar type the white dot academy and you will got uh, my different tutorials if you click on my white dot academy channel page and then you will get the my latest tutorial recently i have uploaded the photoshop tutorial text portrait effects photo manipulation and how do you spend all and some health tips let's go and start the tutorial in this tutorial i will teach you how to get this bevel option and how to use blending option and how to get the embedded option after watching the video please send your feedback don't forget to pay your fee your fees your click on subscribe button and your comment your comment will be give me a great feedback and so that I can give you a latest and new videos let's go and start the tutorial I'm going to my texture folder yeah drag a texture into Adobe working area now I have select the text tool hit ok and I have I have already typed my text. Hit the Control T button so that I can get the transform option, and hit the Shift button and drag in the corner so that I can get the bigger size of text. Hit the Control A button and click on Center button so that I can get uh, the both side equal area now now I am going to my blending option select the text layer hit the right click and blending option now I have decreased the fill opacity to zero then I am going to bevel and oppose option and select the style into emboss and the technique is smooth this is best and the depth is 100% and direction into up or down if you want to down or or it depends on your choice and the depth is 100% is ok I hit the size is at least 5 and change the angle into 120 the glass counter the simple as one this one is back I'm changing my highlight to linear dodge add and I am decreasing the opacity to 50% or 51% now I am changing my shadow to linear and burn and decrease the opacity so I think 40 is better. It's depending on your tax, it's depending on your object. Now I'm going to my gradient. Now change the angle into 100% and decrease the opacity to 12% and change more to overlay. Now I'm going to my next, which is drop shadow. I click my I have click on drop shadow. I am changing my mode 
multiply to color bar and decrease the opacity to 35 or 40 angle must be 120 I just select the bevel angle at 120 you must select the raw shadow angle to 120 it must be same now I increase the distance to 12 and the size I increase 16 is best now I increase the spread ratio to 14 and now you uh, look you have got the bevel option now if I change this text into another text if I type the Photoshop and you look you have get the Photoshop option if I change my background then you will look this is the emboss option if I am going to down option I have get the duplicate you can get the duplicate with ctrl j button or you can press the alt and drag the text into bottom area then you will get the duplicate now I am going to my embedded option and I am again going to my blending option and I have decreased the fill opacity to zero and going to bevel and emboss option and again select style to emboss and the smooth is best and click the down and the size is 5 is the best you can add the some softness is 1 well, I think 0 is best and else something is same now I'm going to make color overlay and I just select the color in black and change the mode to color burn and decrease the opacity to 10 now I have add the inner shadow and I have again changed the my mode to color burn and decrease the opacity to 20. Now I have increased the distance is 5 is, is ok and chalk is 0 and I have increased the size to 30. And you look, I have got the bevel and a boss option. Hope you will like my this tutorial. And if you have still not subscribed my channel, so please click on subscribe channel. If you click on subscribe channel, you will connect my latest video. If you want to get any specific video, so please comment below on the video. You can also check my photo manipulation tutorial. I am going to my channel and you can also search avoid dot academy in the youtube search bar and here is my channel if you click on my channel this is all my tutorials I recently uploaded a photo text portrait effect tutorial photoshop manipulation tutorial and other is photo manipulation tutorials and how to use pen tool and some health tips hope you will like this thank you very much